the list of everything that a city doesn't want to be on, Milwaukee's on it. If our kids can't go out and be in a place that they feel safe, or if they go out and they don't know how to deal with the trauma that they're experiencing every single day, they're not going to be able to function. They're getting expelled. Uh, you know, that's what happens when you're in such a state of, of, of emotional difficulty and challenge, where every part of your day, you are, your, your anxiety level is on a scale of zero to 10, it's at a 20, you know, you just, it's off the charts. And so if we have a program that can support those needs, support that trauma, support the ability for people to overcome that, yeah, we're going to be able to change Milwaukee. So when we started the program 10 years ago now, there were some critical elements that were missing in terms of care for students at the schools. And a, a number of them had to do with mental health. The just explosion in the amount of trauma and trauma-based care that was needed uh, just kept expanding and growing. You'd have these difficult situations with students at schools, and schools would refer the students out to an outpatient counselor in the community, but they're not finding any. And if they found some, did they actually take Medicaid? So the percentage of kids that actually showed up in an outpatient office for at least one session was about 3%. We're able to provide the services free of charge to them, which is a huge bonus. And I, I feel that that gets even more students involved that wouldn't normally be able to access the services because of high deductibles. Let's bring the clinic to them. So we're bringing clinical intervention, clinical treatment, on site at the schools. What school-based counseling does is it removes the barrier of um, transportation. So it removes that barrier from the parents, from the families that are able to access services a lot easier. We started it with a few schools 10 years ago and boy, I think we've been on probably about 25 different schools over these last 10 years. The school-based counseling program is an outpatient setting that the, the kids can receive counseling services inside of their school environment. The STRONG program is a day treatment uh, program that also has um, is housed inside of a school, but the kids are receiving three hours a day, every single day of the week, services at an intense basis. And instead of meeting with a therapist one hour a week in an outpatient level for six, seven, eight, nine months, you can get a, a kind of a higher dose of treatment in a shorter amount of time so that kids can get back in an environment of school, they can, you know, it's not hampering their learning environment. Helping them understand that there is a plan for their lives despite the what seems um, really crazy and hectic and chaotic all around them, that if they can really strengthen their faith in the fact that he's there with them and protecting and guiding their steps, um, that's a huge blessing to be able to do at our agency. You get to see these kids outside of therapy and maybe you go and visit them in a classroom or you can see and, and they actually use the words you used in the group setting or they used it in the individual setting and you feel very proud that they actually, they did listen, it's sustainable, they can use it and practice it in their classrooms. One school has said, how can we go about getting another day from your, from your counselor? The need is definitely there and, and the schools see it and they see the benefit to their students so they want someone there. They want someone there like every day, all day. <laughs> what I saw working with WLCFS, my kids were really successful. I didn't lose any of my kids that successfully completed the program. I, not a single one. The help that we are able to give the students on site in the schools is, it can be life changing. Kids will come up to me and say, Jesus loves me, when they feel like nobody else does. Because um, oftentimes that's what sad kids will say, because <laughs> no one else loves me, everybody hates me, or things like that. There was a first grader who commented, um, I'm not scared anymore. 
being able to hear him say, I'm not scared anymore, was really, um, was, was rewarding for us to hear. I firmly believe that only through God's grace does, does a person transform. I can't transform you. I can't control you. I can't make any of those changes in your life. It's through God's grace that, that those changes happen. And so we have an organization that provides the, the scientifically research-based treatments with what we, well, or what I even firmly believe is like what truly changes and transforms our, our, our kids and our hearts and our minds. These children often feel like they are misbehaved, naughty, that they're doing something wrong all of the time. When we talk about God's unconditional love and what the word unconditional means, this is something that they can hold on to that someone does love them. Someone does care deeply for them and wants to see them succeed. You can get a, a you know, a regular public treatment program and they can do wonderful things, but at the end of the day, I, I feel like those are just strategies to modify behaviors, not transform behaviors. When you're able to use Christian counseling as a healing process, I find it that it heals faster. People are making progress easier. Children especially learn of the love of their Jesus. We can't eliminate those challenges. We can't eliminate all that pain and suffering, all that trauma that's happening in the city of Milwaukee and in these neighborhoods. But we sure can reflect the love of Christ throughout that. And that's what we want to do.